Hello and welcome to a brand new season of Live from 205. I'm your host Harry along with Julius, here to bring you some school updates and videos you didn't know you needed from all of us here at PVTV. Before we get our first video of the year, time for everyone's favorite thing, a history lesson. This week in TV and film history, in 1893, Thomas Edison finished construction on the world's first movie studio just a few miles away in West Orange, New Jersey. Anything else? Nope. That means it's video time. First up, if you could be any fictional character live in a fictional universe, which would it be? Jen and Juno went around the room to find out what the class thinks. All right, welcome back, y'all. So we're here for part two of our interviews, and today's question, we have Gianna, and the question is, wait, what's the question? If you could be any fictional character, what would you be, or who would you be? Um... <laughs> Wait, no, now I have to think about it. Mm. A few moments later. If I could be any fictional character, I would be Winnie the Pooh because he's lazy and all he does is eat honey all day. This question is, if you were a fictional character, well, who would you be? Most likely uh, Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy because, well, he's got a Walkman. I'm an old soul. I have a Walkman, as we can see. It's covered by the case. I just feel like I relate more to a different time period than modern day, plus space. Space is cool. So. All right, thank you. Hey guys, it's. You might want to restart that, bro. Hey guys, it's Jen, and I'm here with. House. So the question of the day is: If you were any fictional character, who would you be? Uh, I think I would be Captain Man from Kid Danger. How come? He's indestructible. Who wouldn't want to be indestructible? Hey, so I'm here with Harry, and the question of today, Harry, is: If you were a fictional character, who would you be? My fictional character would be James Bond, and the reason because of that is the movies that he's in, you know, all the action that he does, and it's a good character that I would like to be in a movie. All right, thank you, Harry. This is Jen, and I'm here with... Chris. And the question of the day is, if you could be any fiction... Uh, I'd probably be like... I'd probably be like Superman. Why? Just fly around, save people. Sounds pretty fun. I mean, I don't think he could die. Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Yeah, but there's no kryptonite on Earth. Let's be free. Okay. Yeah. Get ready for a lot of spring sports interest meeting announcements. If you are watching this today, February 2nd, there will be a mandatory baseball meeting after school in room 78. For those looking to play softball, there will be an interest meeting after school in the senior calf on February 5th. And just three days later, spring track will be having their interest meeting on February 8th, also in the senior calf. Boys Lacrosse will also be having their interest meeting February 7th in room 241. This year's spring musical is Charlie and the Chalpa Factory. Auditions will be held on February 7th, with backup auditions being held in 9th. Finally, seniors, local scholarship applications will be available on Monday. Completed applications are due by March 5th. All those meetings in the senior calf are making me hungry. Luckily, Tacos is Life is a restaurant you can get back and forth from easily during your lunch. Here's Gianna, Paula, and Saja's review. Hey guys, hi, my name is Paula, and I'm Deanna, and behind the camera is Sajida. And we're here at the Taco is Life, and we're just trying out their tacos and see if the prices are to what they taste like. So. Yeah, we're going to give it a review. Cool. The tacos. tacos. We got four tacos for thirteen dollars. Yeah. So and it comes with the sauce. And he kind of forgot. Oh no! There's onions on the side. We got mm. beef birria. Yeah. And now we're gonna taste them to see if they're good enough for the price that they sell them for. So. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's a little messy, guys. It's okay, hard to guys. do in the car. Right, but you don't want it. the sauce? No. We all gotta try the sauce. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. For $13, it's really good. And you get four tacos. Yeah, it's a really good price. And the portions are actually like... Pretty big. Yeah, yeah. pretty big. I don't think... I I'm feel like if it was like for myself, I feel like I could finish like... Mm -hmm. And still have one more taco because mm -hmm. I'm full. Like, it's really good. Also got churros. Okay, so they are really messy though. Very messy. Okay. 
so. Okay. This is how it looks like, y'all. Okay, wait. Ready? One, two, three. Mm. Very warm. So the rating, my rating for the tacos is a good eight and a half out of 10. They are very good. I give the tacos an eight out of 10. It was really good, really delectable. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Okay, your turn, Paula. I give the tacos, and it was my first time trying it. I give it a nine. It was actually really good. If you guys are ever having issues deciding what you want to eat for lunch, we definitely recommend Tacos for Life in Woodland Park. This place. 100%. Okay, bye guys. See you next time. That does it from all of us here at 205. See you next week when we bring back a 205 classic, Drawing the Hornet.